Good morning everyone. This is your English teacher and today we are going to study about a beautiful story by Ruskin Bond, The Thief Story. This story revolves around trust. A young thief, his name is Hari Singh. His conscience is awakened by an employer whose name was Anil, who had complete trust upon him. And it was the positive impact of the faith that Anil has in Hari Singh that leads to the victory of virtue over vice, good over evil. We have two characters in the story, Hari Singh and Anil. Hari Singh is a 15 year old boy who works as a servant at Anil's place. Anil is a freelance writer. Freelance writer means someone who does not work for a company. He works for himself. So he has an irregular income. His income is not regular. Hmm. And uh, Hari Singh is a thief. So this is Hari Singh and this is Anil. Detail explanation of the story. Explanation part one. I was still a thief when I met Anil. So our narrator is a thief. And he said when he met Anil, he was still a thief. And he was 15 year old. And though only 15, I was an experienced and fairly successful hand. He said though I was just 15 year old, but I was very much experienced and skilled in my work. And what was his work? He used to loot people. Anil was watching a wrestling match when I approached him. He was about 25, a tall, lean fellow. And he looked easygoing, kind and simple enough for my purpose. So our another character, Anil, he was watching a wrestling match. He was just 25 years old. A tall, lean fellow, a tall, thin man, and he looked very much down to earth. And our narrator said, enough for my purpose. And what was narrator's purpose? That he wanted to loot Anil. Hmm. I hadn't had much luck of late and thought I might be able to get into the young man's confidence. So he tried to approach him. He tried to be friendly with him and he said, you look a bit of a wrestler yourself. He said that you look like a wrestler. To which Anil replied, so do you. And that put me off. Put me off means that made me upset because at that time our narrator was quite thin. So that made him little upset. But then he very modestly, he said, I do wrestle a bit. What's your name? Hari Singh. So the narrator made a new name for himself. Hari Singh. I lied. I took a new name every month. And Hari Singh lied. Hari Singh means our narrator. That was not his real name. He used to change his name every month so that police cannot track him. His previous employers cannot track him. Why, why, why he uh, did not want uh, people to track him? Because if they would be able to track him, they would catch him. And he used to load people. So now they started talking about wrestlers. But then after the match was over, Anil walked away. I followed casually. So Hari Singh started following him very casually. Anil said hello again and Hari Singh smiled and he said I want to work for you. The narrator Hari Singh said that he wants to work for Anil. To which Anil replied okay but I cannot pay you. See I have told you in the beginning also that uh, Anil is a freelance writer. Freelance writer means that he, he, he doesn't work for anyone. A freelance writer is a person who doesn't work for anyone. He works for himself. So there is no regular flow of income. 
so that is why anil said that he won't be able to pay hari so here is the wrestling match and here are some people and here we have anil and hari singh explanation part 2 I thought that over for a minute. Perhaps I had misjudged my man. I asked, "Can you feed me? Can you cook?" "I can cook." I lied again. Now, Hari Singh was like, he had made a mistake. He misjudged his man. So, for for a short period of time, he asked Anil that, "Would you be able to feed me? Would you be able to provide me food?" Anil replied, "Can you cook? Do you know the art of cooking?" And Hari Singh said, "Yes, I can cook." I lied again because he he could not cook. Hmm. Then Anil said, "If you can cook, then maybe I can feed you. See, if you would be able to make food, then okay, you you can have that food too." So he hired Hari Singh without any salary, but food will be provided. He took me to his room over the Jamuna sweet shop and told me that I could sleep on the balcony but the meal I cooked that night must have been terrible because Anil gave it to a stray dog and told me to be off He said Anil said to Hari that uh, you can sleep in the balcony but that night when he cooked dinner that food was terrible it was so terrible that anil had to give that food to a stray dog stray dog means street dog and that night itself he said he told hari to go but i just hung around smiling in my most appealing way and he couldn't help laughing later he patted me on the head and said never mind he would teach me to cook He also taught me to write my name said he would soon teach me to write whole sentences and to add numbers i was grateful but then anil hired him back saying that he would teach him how to cook not only cooking anil taught him a lot of things things like how to write letters hmm how to write his name how to write whole sentences how to add numbers and hari singh was grateful grateful means thankful i knew that once i could write like an educated man there would be no limit to what i could achieve see when he was an illiterate person he was doing great in his job job means like he was a thief but then he was doing great so he knew it that once he could learn how to write there will be no limit for him It was quite pleasant working for Anil. I made the tea in the morning and then would take my time buying the day supplies, usually making a profit of about a rupee a day. I think he knew I made a little money this way, but he did not seem to mind. So, uh in the morning he used to make tea for Anil and after that he used to go and buy uh daily groceries, daily supplies. and every day he used to do some kind of mischief he used to steal a rupee a day and as per hari singh anil knew about it anil knew about this thing but then he he never said anything he was okay with it so here is anil and here is hari singh Anil is teaching Hari Singh how to write. Explanation part three. Anil made money by fits and starts. He would borrow one week, lend the next. He kept worrying about his next check, but as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. It seems he wrote for magazines, a queer way to make a living. One evening he came home with a small bundle of notes saying he had just sold a book to a publisher. 
At night, I saw him tuck the money under the mattress. I had been working for Anil for almost a month and apart from cheating on the shopping, had not done anything in my line of work. I had every opportunity for doing so. Anil had given me a key to the door and I could come and go as I pleased. He was the most trusting person I had ever met. And that is why it was so difficult to rob him. It is easy to rob a greedy man because he can afford to be robbed. But it is difficult to rob a careless man. Sometimes he doesn't even notice he is being robbed. That takes all the pleasure out of the work. Fits and starts means irregular. So Anil made money irregularly not continuously. He would borrow one week and lend the next. He kept worrying about his next check, but as soon as it arrived, he would go out and celebrate. He used to always worry about his check, hmm. but as soon as that check used to arrive, he used to go out and celebrate with his friends and waste money. It seems he wrote for magazines. As per Hari Singh, Anil wrote for magazines. A queer way to make a living. Queer means strange, weird. For Hari, it was a very weird profession. Hmm? One evening, he came home with a small bundle of notes. One evening, Anil was having a small bundle of notes saying he had just sold a book to a publisher. And at night, he kept that money under the mattress. And Hari Singh was working for Anil for almost a month. And apart from that regular cheap cheating of one rupee a day, he had not done something very big. So at that time, he had the opportunity. And also Anil used to trust him. He had given him a key to the door. So whenever Hari Singh wanted to come from the balcony, he could come easily. So... As per Hari Singh, Anil was the most trusting person he had ever met. And that is why it was very difficult to rob him. Hari Singh said that it is very easy to rob a greedy man. Because he is, a greedy man is always worried about money. So it's very fun. Hmm. But then it's very difficult to rob a careless man. Because sometimes he won't even able to know what happened, what happened with him. And that takes all the pleasure out of the work. And that won't satisfy a thief. Hmm? So I hope this part is clear. Explanation part 4. Well, it is time I did some real work. I told myself. I am out of practice and if I don't take the money, he will only waste it on his friends. After all, he doesn't even pay me. Anil was asleep. A beam of moonlight stepped over the balcony and fell on the bed. I sat up on the floor, considering the situation. If I took the money, I could catch the 10.30 express to Lucknow. Slipping out of the blanket, I crept up to the bed. Anil was sleeping peacefully. His face was clear and unlined. Even I had more marks on my face, though mine were mostly scars. Okay, now he decided that he's going to get that money, he's going to take that money because as per Anil, sorry, as per Hari Singh, Anil is going to waste that money on his friends only. <laughs> and anyways, Anil never paid him. So he, he thought that it's okay, even if I would rob him, I have been working for him and it's okay if, if I would rob him, it, it's okay, it's, it's fine. He did some calculation and he said, considering the situation, the time, he thought if he would be able to take out that money from the mattress, he can easily catch 1030 express to Lucknow. So he did some calculation in his mind and he thought that, okay, this uh, right now it is 9 o'clock 
and if I am going to steal it and if I am going to run, I can easily catch that 1030 express to Lucknow. Slipping out of the blanket, I crept up to the bed. So now he went inside the room and Anil was sleeping peacefully. He had no scars, no lines, no wrinkles on his face. He was very much relaxed while sleeping. Hmm. Even Hari Singh, who is 10 years younger to Anil, even his face had a lot of scars. So now my hand slid under the mattress, searching for the notes. When I found them, I drew them out without a sound. So what did he do? He slid his hand in, uh, beneath the mattress. Hmm. He searched for that bundle and when he found that bundle, he drew that bundle out without making any sound. Anil sighed in his sleep and turned on his side towards me. I was startled and quickly crawled out of the room. And when Anil uh, changed his direction of sleeping, Hari Singh was really uh, startled. Startled means like he got scared. <laughs> so we quickly crawled out of the room and finally he was on the road. When he was on the road, he started running. I had the notes at my waist, held there by the string of my pajamas. I slowed down to a walk, counted the notes, 600 rupees in 50s. I could live like an oil rich Arab for a week or two. He counted those notes. Hmm. And when he counted, the amount was 600 rupees. He, I could live like an oil rich Arab for a week or two. And when he did the estimation, when he counted the notes, he thought that if he would be uh, taking this money along with him, he can live a lavish life for a week or two. So I hope this part is clear. So this is uh, Hari Singh sliding that bundle of uh, note beneath the mattress. Explanation part 5 When I reached the station, I did not stop at the ticket office. I had never bought a ticket in my life, but dashed straight to the platform. The Lucknow Express was just moving out. The train had still to pick up speed and I should have been able to jump into one of the carriages. But I hesitated. For some reason. I can't explain. And I lost the chance to get away. So when Hari Singh reached the station, he did not stop at the ticket office because he had never bought a ticket in his entire life. He ran straight to the platform and that train was still moving. Hmm. If he would have run, he would have easily caught that train. But something was stopping him. He, he had no idea what is happening, but he was hesitating. And he lost the chance to get away. So he could not catch the train. Though he would have been able to, but he could not. Something was stopping him, something emotional. When the train had gone, I found myself standing alone on the deserted platform. So now the train left and he was standing all alone on that platform. I had no idea where to spend the night. He had no clue where to spend the, uh, spend the night. I had no friends, believing that friends were more trouble than help. He never made friends because he used to think that friends are more trouble than help. And I did not want to make anyone curious by staying at one of the small hotels near the station. And even he did not want to stay in one of those small hotels. Because with his clothing, he was looking like a servant. So he did not want anyone uh, suspicious about him. Hmm. He did not want anyone to get suspicious about him. The only person I knew really well was the man I had robbed. The only person I felt that I knew in this city 
was the man I had just robbed, Anil. Leaving the station, I walked slowly through the bazaar. In my short career as a thief, I had made a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods. And leaving the station, he went through the bazaar. Hmm. And he was thinking, in his short career as thief, he had made a study of men's faces when they had lost their goods. The greedy man showed fear. When a greedy man was robbed, he showed fear. Hmm. Because a greedy man always cares about money. The rich man showed anger. A rich man had become rich with his hard work. Hmm. So a rich man showed anger because he had made money with a lot of efforts and hard work. So when a rich man is robbed, he would show anger. The poor man showed acceptance. But a poor man would always be like, it's okay, it was in our destiny, we could not help it. But I knew that Anil's face, when he discovered the theft, would show only a touch of sadness. And Hari Singh knew that if Anil would know about this robbery, he would be sad. And that sadness would not be because of money, but for the loss of trust. He had trust on Hari Singh. That's why he had given him a key. That's why he used to invest himself in him. I found myself in the medan, sat down on a bench. The night was chilly. It was early November and a light drizzle added to my discomfort. Soon it was raining quite heavily and my shirt and pajamas stuck to my skin and a cold wind blew the rain across my face. So now he was sitting in the medan and uh, that time was early November so the night was chilly and then it started drizzling. Drizzling means it was not properly raining but then some drops were still falling from the sky and then that drizzle turned into quite heavy raining. My shirt and pajamas stuck to my skin and um, a cold wind blew the rain across my face. So he was completely drenched in water. So this is Hari Singh. A train is moving and Hari Singh is still standing. Explanation Part 6 I went back to the bazaar and sat down in the shelter of the clock tower. The clock showed midnight. I felt for the notes. They were damp from the rain. Anil's money. In the morning, he would probably have given me two or three rupees to go to the cinema. But now I had it all. I couldn't cook his meals, run to the bazaar, learn to write whole sentences anymore. So now he went back to the bazaar and he was sitting under the shelter of the clock tower. The clock showed midnight. That means it, it was 12 o'clock, 12 a.m. And he fell for the notes. They were damp. Damp means wet. They were wet from the rain. Anil's money was wet from the rain, which he had actually earned with a lot of hard work. In the morning, he would probably have given me two or three rupees to go and watch some movie. But now I had it all. I had that entire money with me. But even then, I couldn't, I couldn't cook his meals, run to the bazaar, learn to write whole sentences anymore. He had money. He, Hari Singh was fond of money only. But now he got attached to Anil. And he was already missing all those things. All those things like cooking his meals, going to the bazaar or writing sentences. I had forgotten about them in the excitement of the theft. Whole sentences. 
I knew could one day bring me more than a few hundred rupees. It was a simple matter to steal, and sometimes just as simple to be caught. But to be a really big man, a clever and respected man, was something else. He said, with that education that Anil was giving me, I could have learned learned a lot. I would have earned a lot of money out of it. In fact, I would have become a respected man in the society. I should go back to Anil. I told myself, if only to learn to read and write. So now he thought that he should go back to Anil, only to learn to read and write. I hurried back to the room feeling very nervous for it is much easier to steal something than to return it undetected I opened the door quietly then stood in the doorway in clouded moonlight and now he went back to the house hmm. and for him it was very easy to uh, take out the money but very difficult to keep it back so he was very nervous Hmm. He opened the door quietly and he went inside. Explanation Part 7 Anil was still asleep. I crept to the head of the bed and my hand came up with the notes. I felt his breath on my hand. I remained still for a minute, then my hand found the edge of the mattress and I slipped under it with, my, with the notes. I awoke late next morning to find that Anil had already made the tea. So now Anil was still asleep and Hari Singh crept to the head of the bed. He went, he went, he crawled to the head side of the bed and his hand came up with the notes that those damn notes those wet notes he could feel Harrison could feel Anil's breath on his hand I remained still for a minute then my hand found the edge of the mattress now he finally found that edge the outer area of the mattress and he slipped under it with the notes and very slowly he kept that bundle of notes beneath the mattress. I awoke late next morning to find that Anil had already made the tea. Next morning because he slept late so he got up late next morning and he found that Anil had already made the tea. He stretched out his hand towards me. There was a 50 rupee note between his fingers. So Anil made tea for Hari Singh and also he gave him 50 rupees. My heart sank. I thought I had been discovered. And he got really scared. Hari Singh got really scared because he thought that Anil has caught him. And Anil Singh said, sorry, Anil said, I made some money yesterday. Anil told Hari Singh that he has earned some money yesterday. Now you will be paid regularly. And he said, now I am going to pay you regularly. My spirits rose, but when I took the note, I saw it was still wet from the night's rain. And when he touched the note, he realized that note is still wet. Today we will start writing sentences, he said. He knew. So now he said, Anil said to Hari that from today they will start writing sentences. He knew. What did he know? He knew that Hari Singh had robbed him but then kept that money back. But neither his lips nor his eyes showed anything. He did not utter anything. He did not make him. He did not make him feel anything. I smiled at Anil in my most appealing way, and Hari Singh smiled at Anil, and the smile came by itself. 
Earlier, Hari Singh was smiling at Anil just to please him. But today, that smile was natural because it was coming from, from the bottom of his heart without any effort. So, the story is over. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubt, please feel to approach me. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.